Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have another HGA submission reveal that we will be going through. This is a five card sub that was sent in on a 60 day. And so it has arrived. And this one I believe is uh, five baseball cards that I had sent in. Let's see what uh, we got with these. Here's the flyer that they are using to promote their Smoky Mountain card show. And so just post your favorite slab, tag them, for your chance to win this Joe Burrow and uh, round trip tickets for two to the card show. And so they have announced a few celebrities that are going to be there. Let me just make sure that if these are, looks like they are face up. So we'll take these out. And there we go. So make sure everything's out. All right, and let's see what we got here. So I don't remember which cards exactly I had sent in. Uh, so let's see, this is going to be the Ryan Mountcastle and I believe that's a two or three player card. So let's see, and then we got Alec Bohm, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette out of the Bowman Platinum, and then Joe Adele. And so we'll... Uh, We'll just go ahead and get right into it from the top. We'll start with this first one and see what we got. And so it is uh, two players, Mount Castle and Dalbeck, Bobby Dalbeck. And so there is the card. It is a 9.0, and I did go with a custom label. So this was actually the first horizontal card that I sent in before they announced that they were working on horizontal slabs. And so... Let's take a look here. There is the label. We got a 9.0 on the corners. Surface got a 10. Wow. Edges got an 8.5 and the centering got a 9. So the edges are what killed me on this one. It's an interesting label. It kind of looks like there's some debris on it, but I think that's just part of the design. I don't know if that's like a nighttime like starry night or if it's uh due to the like the sparkle in the card but there's the card it's the 2021 rookie stars american league ryan mountcastle and bobby dalbeck this was out of the tops heritage so i thought it was a nice card so i was very curious to see what they would do on that custom label i actually really like that label surprised at the edges i've heard a lot about the surface grades being tough through hga but it's actually been the edges that have been getting me. And so you can kind of see the edges are a little rough. Either way, that's that's still a very nice card. I'll take a 9.0 with a 10 surface. So we'll, uh, we'll set that up here. And we'll see what the new design is going to look like for the horizontal slabs. Um, I believe they did mention that they are going to have an option for cards that were horizontal cards that were graded in a vertical slab to be resubmitted to have slabbed in the horizontal slabs. So we'll see what that looks like and what that process is. I don't know with it being a 9.0. I don't know if it's really a candidate to resubmit. So we'll see what happens with that. And this one we got an Alec Bohm and uh, feels kind of thick. I think this was actually a mem card yeah enclosed player worn used material guaranteed by panini and so let's see what we got and we got a 9.0 and this one i don't believe i went with a custom on this one i think i just did a neutral um team match which it's interesting the the color choice is interesting i don't really it kind of looks like uh like a maroon burgundy so i don't really know where that's coming from uh, but we got a 9.0. There's the label. Corners got a 9.0. Surface got a 9.5. Edges got a 9.0. And then the centering also with a 9.5. And so there it is, 9.0, Alec Bohm. And I did notice some of these, these um, thicker cards do kind of, they are kind of loose in there. And they've mentioned possibly doing sleeves so the cards don't move around. But we'll see how that goes. I don't really plan on shaking my slabs anyway. So the next one is going to be Jordan Alvarez. And let's see what we got. 
another 9.0 so this is the tops chrome out of update so it is just a base um, but it is a, a rookie card the rookie debut we got a 9.0 on the corners surface and edges and then a 9.5 on the centering and another just a neutral label and i actually like the way that the label goes with the card on this one so not too bad i'll take that you can kind of see, I think that's just on the on the plastic or on the slab. Um, I know I wouldn't have sent a card in with surface scratches like that. And the surface got a 9.0, so pretty sure that's not on the actual card itself. But uh, 9.0, just a base. And we will go, let's do this Joe Adele. And so this one was out of Heritage as well. And uh, I believe this was uh, a parallel. So let's take a look what we got. A 9.5, okay. So this was the Chrome, the 1952 redo. So very nice. Tops Chrome, Joe Adele. There is the label. We got 9.5 on the corners, surface, and centering, and a 9.0 on the edges. So once again, the edges were the weak point on the card. But uh, still a 9.5, very nice. Um, I thought that it looked very well centered, so 9.5 on the centering. And then that is the back. So very, very nice. I will definitely take that. Throw him up there. And then this one is the Beau Bichette. I believe this was a, a teal parallel out of um, Bowman Platinum. And, uh, and I believe it was numbered as well. So let's take a look. And we got a 9.0. And so there is the label. Corners got a 9.0 along with the surface. And the edges got a 9.5 on this one. So the edges got a strong point on this card. And then the centering got an 8.5. Ooh, that's rough. And I'm not really sure on the centering, um, how the centering is graded on these. It does look like maybe the, maybe the name is a little bit low. So maybe the centering on the back there, uh, hard to tell centering left to right on the back. And then on the front, maybe this is over a little too much to the left. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen many other of these. So for a reference point, I'm not really sure. Uh, but you can see there it is numbered 150 out of 299. Bobochet out of Bowman Platinum. And it is the teal variation. And then on the label, I actually went with the neutral team match. So it does match the jersey. So not too bad. 9.0. And uh, that was that was all of them. I'd say probably the Joe Adele 9.5 was probably going to be the highlight. So we got the Jordan Alvarez, the 9.0. And this is just the rookie debut Topps Chrome base. And then the Alec Bohm. This is out of the Don Russ. So it's going to be the retro 1987 materials. Uh, but it is player used, game worn. So very nice. And then we also got the 9.0 Beau Bichette. And this is probably my favorite card out of this sub, just because I really love these cards that have the like the blue sparkle. And this is the only one on this sub that I did the custom label for. And it did get a 10 surface, even though the edges got an 8.5. I will take that. So still a nice card. And then of course the 9.5, the sole 9.5 that we got out of this sub. It's going to be the Joe Adele 1952 redo, 9.5. So that was it. Just a single five-card sub of some baseball cards. Um, I hadn't really sent in a whole lot of baseball cards, and so I did want to get a few graded just to see what they would come out like with the labels. And uh, I did try out more of the neutral labels to see how those looked. I'm pretty happy. I, I don't disagree with these grades. Uh, glad I got the 9.5 on the Joe Adele. I wish I would have did better on this one here, but uh, I'll, I'll take it with that custom label. And so I've given my thoughts on HGA. I feel like slab-wise, these are the best that are available that are out there compared to PSA or SGC or BGS. Um, they do have a lot of quality control issues that uh, I really hope they get under control. I've been seeing a very quick turnaround as far as in their process on your orders, how they can try, you can track where it's at in the process. I've been getting emails left and right that this order has been graded, this order has been scanned, this order has been printed and shipped out. And so I do have 
much more coming in. I think I have another order due in shortly as well. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have that bell notification selected so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. There will be plenty more submission reveals. And let me know down in the comments below if you have been submitting any cards into HDA to be graded. I know now that they've opened the queue, I've seen the slots have been open pretty much for the whole week until the renewal on Monday. And so it looks like business has kind of slowed down. Hopefully that does pick back up as they start to get things more under control. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are and uh, if you will be submitting anything into HGA. And uh, as always, thank you for stopping by. We will see you in the next one. We'll actually end it on the Joe Adele since it is our loan 9.5. And we are out.